All right, we have the uh, technical director of the Bermuda National Athletics Association, Troy Douglas, and the national swimming coach, Ben Smith. A gentleman in a matter of weeks, uh, Troy, you'll be in uh, the Bahamas, and Ben, you'll be in Jamaica with our Carifta athletes. Um, we'll start off with you, Ben. Um, what, what, what expectations have you put on the athletes um, during the Carifta championships? Well, we have 18 athletes going, uh, quite a few of them being in the 11 and 12, the youngest age group. Uh, what we've been talking to them about and working towards is for them to perform at their best while we are at the games in Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, so really we're looking for top times and best performances under the, the stress of being at a championship. Now what's been the uh, training schedule for these kids? Uh, the, the athletes have ranged from six times, five times a week to eight times a week, uh, plus land training and uh, any kind of outside work that we can fit in. But for most of them, it's been, you know, afternoons and 6 a.m. morning sessions. Now, often one would hear you talk about land training uh, for a swimmer. What does that evolve with? Uh, we're going to do quite a bit of core work. There's, they're going to be doing a lot of uh, sit-ups, planks, that kind of work. Uh, you're also going to see them do quite a bit of work on land with jumping. Uh, we do steps, we do um, squats, uh, really looking for explosion in their legs, both for turns and also for starts. All right. And obviously, Troy, um, your first um, real test uh, you and your, your team of coaches have been working with these these young athletes um, for about a half a year now. Um, wh what expectations do you have for your coaches um, throughout this Carifta period? To uh, to get the best out of the athletes. I, I know that uh, the athletes are going to go in there and do a personal best. That's, that's the main goal I'm looking forward to. And that our coaches use this as an experience to prepare for the next group of athletes that come behind them. Because they, we, we have some coaches who have some international experience as, as, as athletes and very little as coaches. And I want to uh, hone in on those skills as much as possible. Use this tournament as a tournament to get your feet wet. Make any mistakes that you can make. I'll be there. And I'm not there to protect you. I, I want to see you fall. And, and when you fall, you only get better. So and, and I'm just looking forward to to taking this this, this coaching staff and, and, and 25 athletes and, and going out there and use this as the next step to Junior Pan Ams, CAC, and World Youth Champion World, World Youth Games, and next year so we've also got World World Junior Championships. So this is a build up for the next year. Now, both of you, your sports have a major success at um, these, these games that you're going to, Carifta Championships and Carifta Games. How often do we get uh, former people that have passed through those holes of, of Carifta uh, medals and, and talking to the, these current youngsters about the experience that they've been through and what, what, what to expect? I'm pretty fortunate uh, because uh, almost a huge number of the coaching staff uh, in the Bermuda National Athletic Association are former corrupt athletes. So the, the, the special kind of uh, love affair for Carifta and that's that buzz that it gives them, the coaches and the athletes, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same. So even though it's 30, 30 years ago for some coaches, it's still that kind of special feeling. They can, they can feel it coming off the athletes. So it's, it's kind of unique. It's, it's, it's for me, it's unique to see that uh, coming off the athletes and the coaches when they work together and how they view Carifta. Okay. What about you, Ben? For swimming, most of our athletes, uh, past athletes that were part of Carifta are still actually within the program at the higher level. So we have the opportunities when they're at home for competition and also when they're home for training camps and the like. And we have had some really good talks by Lisa Blackburn and Roy Allen Burt sitting down with the, the swimmers and talking to them about what it takes to get to the level that they are, which is obviously going through the Carifta level to continue on until you reach the world level. Uh, but 
we've been fortunate to have these guys come back and continue to, to talk to these, these younger swimmers and try to get them to reach the same levels. Now, earlier we were talking about uh, the possibility of coaches um, coming together um, to, to kind of share information, trade off information. Is that something you think um, could be done through the Bermuda Olympic Association as they kind of, they should have contact with each national sport governing body that can possibly get you guys together to discuss all sorts of different strengths and, and weaknesses of, of Myself personally, over the last four years, going to most of the festivals, you know, CAC Games, Commonwealth Games, Pan Am Games, the opportunity to be with the other coaches at the competition, I found to be very important in progressing. The, the opportunities to sit down and talk to a Brian Wellman about what he had experienced to get to the level that he was. Uh, I found it interesting that a lot of our local athletes didn't know who he was. and he had reached such a high level that it didn't make sense to me that they didn't know who he was, plus the fact that he had a lot to, to offer even to our swimmers. I brought him in at our Christmas camp to talk to our swimmers a, about what he had achieved and to start to build a relationship that we could start to use some of his jumping skills in our starting skills. Uh, I think those are the kind of relationships that are important and we have to figure out somebody that's going to bring that together. I, I don't think it's a job of the uh, Bermuda Olympic Association. I think it's just uh, it, the coaches have to do it themselves because uh, we are the ones out there and uh, we're, we're going to have to come together and create our own sort of a coaches, uh, coaches union or for whatever yes. you want to call it because uh, we're always going to be independent from that and we're always going to be a part of the Olympic Association or whatever federation we are. But we do have our own fraternity, and we're going to have to make that fraternity a stronger fraternity by coming together and bringing the resources together and making uh, that blueprint for what I said early on, that blueprint for Bermuda athletes, because we do have a unique, uh, have a unique uh, group of uh, individuals here in this island, and every bit of information coming from whatever sport it is, 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 is only helpful to making us a more, more successful in the long run. Okay, well gentlemen, good luck uh, in Jamaica and in the Bahamas with our athletes and we hope that uh, you all do us proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.